there is a lot of talking going on in this room right now. Not between us, but between the cells in our bodies. They're talking with each other all the time, but differently from how we do it. Because as we use speech and gestures, they talk with each other using chemicals. So let's, for example, have a look at the liver in our body. If we zoom in, we see that the liver is actually made up of a lot of different types of cells. But for these cells to come together and appear as one organ, as one tissue, they have to act in a coherent manner. They have to collaborate. And for this, they absolutely must communicate with each other, just as is the case for humans. But now, what happens if the liver suffers an injury and some of these cells, they don't work proper any longer? Usually, we would be given some sort of drug or maybe a transplant. But what if we instead could use something like a prosthetic for the cell? So something that looks a bit like a cell, acts a bit like a cell and supports it? Well, this is what we try to do using artificial cells. Artificial cells, they mimic these natural cells, but they're much, much simpler. And usually they perform just one or two of the functions that the natural cell can do. But this function could, for example, be that function that the liver now can't do because of the injury. Now, what I try to do in my project is figure out how do we make these artificial cells communicate with the natural cells so that they also one day can collaborate with each other. And more specifically, I make artificial cells that can eavesdrop on liver cells. And how do I do it? Well, I start by making these tiny little cell-sized gels to which I attach a molecule. And these ones are my artificial cells, so they really are very simple. Now what I do is that I cut off that molecule, which acts as the listening of the artificial cells. And what do they listen to? Well, they listen to uh, whether or not a molecule is being produced by the liver cells, which correlates to how good are the liver at detoxifying different things, which is a very important job for a liver to do. So now what we have is a molecule produced by the liver cells. We have a molecule released by the artificial cells. And these two molecules can react together to create a new molecule. And this can in turn be detected by the artificial cells to produce light, which I, as a researcher, can now detect. So in this way, I hope that the artificial cells that I've designed can one day partake in this conversation in a room that we can't hear. Thank you. <laughs>